Hello and welcome to this video guys. Today we're going to look into guards within Angular. So a guard is, is used to control access to different routes that we have. Uh, it could prevent unauthorized access to certain parts of the application. So for instance, if you're not assigned in user, maybe you should not be able to navigate to the profile page. Quite common sense. Uh, there's a couple of different uh, guards that you, you can use. There's can activate, which is essentially used to check whether you can, you're can you allowed to navigate to a certain route. Then there's can activate child, which essentially is quite similar to the can activate, but rather it checks whether you can navigate to a child route of that parent. And we have we also have can deactivate, which is it's a guard checking whether you're allowed to, to leave a page. So deactivating a route in this case. And we're today we're going to look into can activate and can deactivate routes. And we're going to use and show you different use cases for it. So the first thing we want to do is essentially generating up some boilerplate files. We want to go to the we want to create a couple of components. So let's go ahead and create a home component. Uh, after the home component is created, we want to go make sure we create a profile component. So when the profile component now is created, we also want to go ahead and generate some guards. So generate ng generate guard and let's call it auth guard in this case. Once that is done, uh, we are going to set up an unsaved changes guard. All right. So when, once this is done, we have the code that we want to do. The first thing we want to do now is essentially make sure that we want to make sure that we have the route specified here. So what we can do is we can say uh, on, on the home page, we want to use the home component that we just created. And we can say on the path profile, we want to essentially show the profile component. But we also want to say in order for us to activate the guard, we want the auth guard to, to give us a clear statement that we're allowed to do it. We also want to make sure that we have can deactivate. So let's say we have a form on that page. If that form has been changed, maybe we want to notify the user that they have unsafe changes. All right. So going back to the profile page, we now should have two routes. So we should ha have home route and we should have a profile and yeah. They should both be working. So now I can't navigate away from the profile page because the can deactivate route, the unsafe changes that we have here uh, is, is in fact blocking us from, from doing so. So if I now would say can activate, sorry, this could should, this needs to be changed to can deactivate. And it usually takes in a component here. And as for now, as you might know, we do not know what component will be passed in. So for now, we're going to just create an any type for it. We're going to get back to it. Uh, we also need to we go here. We can implement the can deactivate state. And as you can see, there's a couple of more input props coming from, from, from it, rather like if you compare it to the can activate. So here you would just return uh, the can deactivate function from a component that we will shortly get into. So what we need to do now is we need to create, a, let's, ca let's call it a, an abstract component really so that we can utilize the base logic for it. So export class, let's call it can deactivate component. And this component should have the can deactivate route. So are you sure you want to leave? All right, so it's quite basic. And this is going to be a, an abstract class. Uh, we do not want to have the logic here. It's just going to be an abstract class that we have. Uh, sorry, uh, an abstract function that we have. And in order for us to actually use it, we are going to have to, sorry, component, and we need to have an abstract class as well. All right, so when we have the abstract class in this way, we now can utilize that, but we're not finished here. So we want to have an, an host listener listening to when user tries to leave the page. Unload. Uh, we're going to use the event here in order for us to change the value. So we want to have an unload notification. In this case, it's just going to check whether we cannot deactivate the route and return true. Set the return value to true, meaning we cannot navigate from that page. All right, so once this is done, uh, there's just one last thing we want to do, right? So we have this function here. So if we have this function, we want to run it. If not, we just want to say true because then we don't have the unsaved changes 
thing so uh, can deactivate will just be whatever it come from here and what we want to do is say if we cannot deactivate it we want to make sure that user is notified so we could just return confirm um, you have unsaved changes are you sure you want to leave right and if not then we just want to return whatever comes from here all right so now this is done here what we need to do now is we need to extend this abstract class from here so what we can do is essentially we can extend it so like this and we can create a let's see here exactly so we can just use the can deactivate function here so imagine we would have a form so is form changed let's say if it's not changed return is form changed right so we we can deactivate if the form has not been changed in this case we need to do this so all right so now we should be able to navigate back and forth from the home and profile page all right so that we can see is done so imagine now we'd say okay our form has been changed in fact then i should not be able to leave this page unless we are confirming so you have unsafe changes are you sure you want to leave all right when we press ok we'll need the route so this is one way of actually making sure that the user always have pre-filled the forms and make sure that the user is always understanding what what's being used and so what uh, just keep in mind that the confirm does not look too good you could have a modal you could listen to changes from that modal and then you could return the value that's one case one way you could do it um, instead to have your own customized uh, modal or dialogue or anything for for the user so my friends this is the unsaved changes card so we're blocking the user from navigating away when we know we have changes in the form so the unload notification comes in play when you try to reload the page so this is the native browser logic we cannot determine how this looks like so that's that's it for the unsaved uh, so so for the can deactivate form so now we're going to look into the more basic one which is essentially can activate can i activate this card so we here we would just probably call a service a user service to see um can i really navigate to this page so let's go ahead and create a service real quick um, obviously this service would have to to communicate with backend and so on before so when you log in you would save it in local storage and this service would then uh, would then under, maybe store your JWT token in, in local storage or something like that all right so we can go ahead in this service we're going to say just for, for now we're not going to call backend or anything so it's logged in equals to false we're not going to do anything more than this really so in the auth card we can just inject it like we do in components we can in inject the auth service here and we can say we can activate this route if the user is logged in right so if i'm logged in i can go to the profile page and logged in is false so i cannot go to the profile page but if i set it to be true when i click on the profile i should be able to come to the profile page so with this we could have some validation within the service that would determine whether we have a user that can navigate to this page or not and this my friends is how you can use guards in angular thank you for watching all the best bye